Okay, we're going to talk about the rectocellular infections. There's two, way, two best ways to categorize the spotted fever group and the typhus group. Uh, you're going to look at a patient that's going to present with skin rash, uh, fever, headaches, um, and they might work in an area that is with fleas, uh, you know, something like uh, working around the, uh, rat infested food storage or, you know, something to that effect. And so what we're looking at, we're gonna go, I'm going to tell you a couple stories on why all this comes up, but you've got the spotted fever group. There's a Rocky Mountain spotted fever, which is called, caused by a ricocetial, ric, ricocetti. So Rick, this tick right here, Rick heads up this spotty, spotted Rocky Mountain. It takes him seven days to get the top. So pretty much it's got seven days of incubation, sometimes five to ten, but just average seven days. Uh, rodents and dogs are reservoirs, so you've got in the eastern United States the American dog tick, in the western United States the Rocky Mountain wood tick. The rash is first on the hands and feet, then the trunk and face. Uh, the second uh, symptoms you'll run across are abdominal pain, joint pain, diarrhea, You'll get a ma maculopapular with petechia. Uh, death can happen due to circulatory collapse and kidney failure. So there, you can do serologic testing, indirect immunofluorescence assay, PCR, um, anything like that to find out. Um, it happens a lot, b b not a lot, but it happens between, look for April to September. But here's the story. So you've got Rick, the little tick. He goes up this seven days to get to the top. And then he brought with him his similar brother, Conroy. Now, Con so you've got Rick Cassetti. We're going to do that. R-I-C-K-E-T-S-I-I. -E -I. There is one, Rick Cassetti. And then his similar brother is Conroy. or Connery, which is the type, but that's Conroy, his brother, which he brings him a boutonniere, which is boutonniere's disease, or boutonniere's fever. Uh, it's a Mediterranean fever, tick bite fever occurring in Africa and India. It resembles Rocky Mountain, but milder. There's also a mite that causes uh, a Rocky Mountain or spotted fever type and this mite is a ricocetial pox, um, or also a K A R I I Akari. So you've got one, two, and three. All type uh, spotted fever. It's a mild illness, the ricocetial pox. It's a vascular rash, and they've got an um, eschar at the site of the bite. Um, they have common uh, complement fixing antigens in all of these three types. You also have uh, another spotted fever type is the Ricocetia australis. And of course, Australia have kangaroos. And I know it's a bad kangaroo, but that's got a little tick up there that causes Australia's type. And then you've got also. Siberica, Ricocetia Siberica, S I B. And that's caused by a tick. Happens in Siberia, Mongolia, that type of thing. So those are the spotted fever groups. Look for headache, uh, temperature, uh, rash first in hands and feet, then trunk, a maculopapular type rash with petechia, uh, and look for. Uh, you know, bite of infected, uh, you know, tick or mite. Uh, mite is in the Akari or the, the uh, Ricocetial pox. Now, you've got a typhus group, and that's why this guy's wearing a tie, because it's typhus group. And there's a few different types. There's epi epidemic type, uh, or epidemic typhus, which is caused by uh, uh, rick uh, Rickettsia prawazeki. And we're going to put just P-R. 
Z-E-K-I-I, -I, right there. Oops, we're going to go four, five, and we'll go number six over here. Now this type, Parzecki, nice Polish name, Polish sausage on the grill, which is actually a brill, which I'll get into in a second, but pretty much Prawazeki, the I can say that I got I got family in Wisconsin. Well, they all have you know cooking up brats, and this is the epidemic type, and it's caused by lice. That's why it has lice on his uh, little cap there. Uh, it's a epidemic louse-borne typhus. It's humans are the only reservoir. The louse dies um, of the infection. Uh, it multiplies in the gut of the louse and then uh, the louse feeds and it's transmitted in the host scratches it's fever, headache, um, myalgia rash appears on the fourth day first on the trunk uh, then limbs but not face so it's trunk and limbs but not face so it moves outward um, and it's a maculopapular rash with petechia. It's got CNS involvement. That's why there's these question marks. That's CNS. That's what that stands for. The headache is the, the lightning bolt to the head. The temperature or the fever is the uh, temperature gauge there. Um, there's also something that can happen, which is called Brill's disease. And that's why there's a grill there with the brats. Is the brill is a reoccurrence or relapse uh, 10 to 40 years later. Uh, You've got complications like myocarditis, CNS infection. Um, also, you'll see uremia. So this is that's type, what type first epidemic typhus. Then you've got endemic typhus, which is also called murine, M-U-R-I-N-E. Um, that's why this is a marine. Number seven, and this is endemic type. Um, it, there's no person-to-person -person, uh, transmission. It's caused by fleas. That's what the, the fleas are here for. Uh, and uh, it's like louse typhus, but less severe. Okay, the next one is shrub typhus. You've got a black eschar on the, uh, on the bite or the infection of a mite. That's why he's got a blue cape. Uh, it's also wearing a tutu, and that has to do with the type it is. It's the eighth one we're talking about. It's T S U T S U G A M U S H I Tusugami Tusugashi <laughs> Anyway, Rickasetia uh to to do. Rick could get it called scrub typhus. Um there's the necrotic escarette, the bite, fever, headache, uh, which will come. It's usually seen in India, South Asia, Asia, and Australia. And the last one is not one caused by lice or fleas or mites or anything. It's inhalation. And it's Q fever. It's also called uh, Coxiella Burnetti. And the redhead here is because it's Carol Burnett that makes me remind reminds me of Carol Burnett, the uh, comedian. Uh, natural cycle maintained by the uh, by the tick, but uh, but it's actually taken in uh, through um, inhalation. It's excreted in cows and sheep milk, urine, feces, placentas. It's inhaled or ingested in unpasteurized milk. There's no rash with this one, but it can affect the lungs, the liver, or the heart.